Hey, it's Jonathan Lindsay here for Tapestry Music, and thought we would check out this cool little amp today. So this is uh, the smallest in the Tone King lineup. This is called their Gremlin, and uh, comes in the combo or ahead. We've got the combo here today, and it's it's cool. It's a really simple little amp, but you can get a lot of great tones out of it. And I haven't really messed around with it much yet, so we'll do this uh, now and hear a few tones coming out of it now. Give you a few specs here. So this is five watts, only five watts. And what's really cool about it is there's an attenuator on the back. So even though it's five watts, we can wind that power down and get some really nice tones at bedroom levels. Uh, or you can get it cranked up really dirty at a reasonable level. I mean, it's only five watts, so it's not going to get crazy loud. But people underestimate the power of five watts. It's you know. Uh, if we crank this up in your living room, it's going to be way too loud. Trust me on that. So the attenuator is a welcome little thing. Um, now this amp's got two 12AX7s for the preamp tube, and it's got this really cool, humongous KT66 power tube, which we don't see very often. And uh, it's a very cool tube. Hopefully we can get a little shot of it in the back there because it's like enormous. Um, and this is supposed to give you Fender-y type vibes like small amps so you're like a little like champ and uh, you know maybe into princeton kind of territory it does have a 12 inch speaker i mean i can't believe they've actually crammed a 12 inch speaker into this uh little cabinet but it's actually a 12 inch speaker it's a custom designed one from celestian uh just for tone king uh, it's got a gold kind of color on the back of it i don't know if it's voiced like a gold or not but it definitely sounds quite nice with this amp and it's a super simple layout on the panel. Basically, you've got a volume and a tone. Nothing else. What more do you need? Um, there's two inputs, though. There's a rhythm and a lead. And so the way it's voiced is if you plug into the rhythm channel, that is your clean, sparkly, Fender 60s black panel type sound. If you plug into the lead channel, this is actually more of a 50s Fender tweed sound, uh, which is really cool because I love the clean sound of black panel Fenders. And not crazy about the distorted sound of them so much. That's just me. Uh, whereas tweed amps, I'm the complete opposite. I love the sound of them overdriven and cranked up, but clean, they're not really my thing. So that's pretty cool. And you can, there's a little hack here, you can plug an AB switch or an ABY switch into there and switch between the channels or have them both going at once, which uh, could be cool. Uh, now that I'm mentioning that, we probably should have got an AB switch out to do that, but uh, that's okay. Um, we'll just listen to those tones uh, as they are, which is uh, easy enough. So uh, you heard on the intro there, I was in the clean channel, and the volume is about just under noon, and uh, tone is back a little ways from noon. It's at about 9 o'clock, something like that. And the attenuator is not engaged right now. I've got it all the way up. Uh, I did have a reverb and delay on there just because I love playing with reverb and delay because it's so much more fun. But for uh, everybody now, I will turn that off just so you can hear the pure amp by itself. Because if I don't, somebody's going to complain. We know it's you. All right. So uh, I got here Fender Tele. This is actually just a player too. So it's uh, not an expensive guitar. I'm plugging into this amp. It sounds fantastic. This is the straight up clean tone here. <laughs> Real straight up, clean Fender kind of tone. Um, <clears throat> that's with the tone knob where I had it. If I put that up into the middle here, a little brighter. Three o'clock. That actually put some really nice bite on there. I dig that. I didn't think I was going to like that, but I do. Here's Max Tone. Mm. 
Definitely getting a bit brash at the top end there, but depending on the guitar, it might be just fine. I'm gonna roll that back down around noon. Um, as we turn the volume up here, let's see how loud this thing gets. Here is three o'clock. You can hear it's just breaking up a little bit. It's kind of meaty sounding. Um, it's not totally overdriven, but it's only five watts. So we're starting to push that. Now, if I take that attenuator, roll back a couple of clicks, I'm gonna put that volume full blast now. That sounds pretty awesome. And I'm sitting right next to the amp there. That volume felt really nice to me. Two clicks down on the attenuator. If I put it back at full blast, it'd probably be a little too much in here, but if I was jamming with a drummer, it'd be awesome. Um, <clears throat> let's flip it over to the lead. Take a listen to that. All right, so this is noon on the volume, noon on the tone. That's cool. It's kind of picking up where the other channel left off with crunchiness. It's also a little more like, a little more compressed, a little more saturated. And the bottom end to me is tightened up a little bit. It's not quite as, not quite as big sounding. It's a little smaller sounding, a little more focused. Uh, let's go three o'clock on the volume. So we're getting almost all the way up there. That's awesome. That's way more gain than I was actually expecting. That's pretty cool. And that's not fully cranked up yet. Mind you, we are uh, a couple notches down on that attenuator. Here's full volume on that channel. Tone is still at noon. It's really interesting as the volume maxes out there, the tone actually got brighter. I didn't touch the tone knob, but I'm hearing a lot more top end. I don't know if you guys are, but definitely more bite in there without adjusting that tone knob. That's cool, it's like a little mini Marshall. <laughs> it's just cranking. Uh, let's see what the tone knob does with it all the way up too. So this is everything on full. Well, two knobs, but everything on full.
Cool. It's pretty bright on that setting, but uh, you know, cutting through a mix would be very nice. There's a lot of harmonic content, which I'm really digging. Um, overtones, like just as you let the note kind of hang, there's cool overtones and um, quite a bit of sustain, very like natural and musical sustain. And I mean, this is a guitar not really known for having sustain, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I just want to flip the tone all the way back the other way for the completely opposite kind of tone. I think this will be really cool. I hope. <laughs> <laughs> cool. It actually wasn't as dark as I was sounding, so I had to resort to the tone knob there. Um, so now, let's just check out the attenuator a little bit. I hope I don't peak the levels too much here, but I'm going to go... This is without the attenuator, just for point of reference. It's got punch, it's cool. Uh, if we drop it down, so we were two notches down before, which was here. Let's take it down. How many have we got? One, two, three. There's three more, so let's go. There's one more down. Cool. Still like maybe a little too loud for, you know, bedroom level, but let's go one more. It's kind of comical. It's like the amp is totally ripping, but it's so quiet. And we got one more to go. What does this one do? <laughs> you can like barely hear it above the guitar itself. It's fun though. Nobody's going to give you a hard time for playing at midnight with uh, that going. That is super ultra quiet. So that's a very cool feature built into these. And uh, they do also sell uh, the attenuators separately. So if you've got an amp that is too loud, you want to make it quieter, they do two different sizes. Uh, they do a small 30 watt one and a big 100 watt one. And we've got both of those in stock too. Uh, but having it built right into the amp is a very cool feature. Um... What else can we say about this thing? It's a pretty cool, cute little unit. Um, we are saying they really remind us of old like TVs from the 50s, the way they styled them. And even the, looks like the logo is kind of, maybe it's a radio TV, I don't know. But very vintage vibes. It would look very cool in uh, anybody's living room. So that about wraps it up. That is the Tone King Gremlin, a little five watt fire breathing dragon that can be tamed into a little bitty amp. It's, uh, it's quite a cool one, a lot of fun to play through. Um, so thanks for checking this out with us today. 
And if you haven't already, do like and subscribe to our channel because we'll be doing lots more cool uh, videos with gear such as this and other exciting things. And so I hope to see you in the next video. Thanks for tuning in. And until then, I'll uh, leave you with, I don't know, maybe some distorted tones with some reverb and delay. It'll get a little spooky. Sounds, sounds like a fun time. Hope you enjoy it. Thanks for watching.